Hey everybody, welcome back to the Scentitar Fragrance channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Benjamin and I review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related. So you've come to the right place to learn about fragrances and scents and all kinds of things. Today we're going to be introducing the house of Guy Fox. Now Guy Fox is a fantastic new brand coming out of California. I am not sponsored or paid by them, but I did get these samples to review and I did get them for free. So I'm definitely going to be completely honest here. Always here you're going to get complete honesty of what I think about these fragrances. If you don't think I can be impartial, you know, of course you don't have to watch this video today. But um, definitely here, I wanted to put that out there and be 100% transparent with you guys and gals. So thank you all for being here today. Let's jump into this house. So first off, I'm going to put information below in the description about this brand, about this house. And I'm going to be putting the notes here for each fragrance so you can see them. First off, um, these fragrances are about $50 and they all are parfum concentration. So they aim to perform and they aim to really give you good quality for the money. And I am using my little ghetto test strips. <laughs> just like Cuba Nose does, just pieces of paper or bathroom tissue paper, whatever you got on hand. So let's talk about these and jump into each one. We have six fragrances to talk about today. Real quick, and of course I'll be doing individual reviews of these fragrances. So the first one we have today is none other than Hermes. It's not Hermes, it's with an I. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll put it below. But uh, let's spray this. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they are doing a play on that Hermes kind of quality. This does have a little bit of an Hermes feel. They did try to kind of go there. It has a nice freshness to this. I feel like all of these fr fragrances have a nice, smooth, kind of soft freshness. And this one has a little bit more vetiver going on, that's for sure. Um, there's a little bit of musk and a little bit of greenness, but overall this, I think this is more of their vetiver offering. Of course, I'll have the notes hit down here below. Overall, a nice fragrance. Very well blended. Hard to pick out the notes on this one particularly. This is a very nice, kind of a modern interpretation of a green fragrance. On my channel, I always encourage people to try out green fragrances because there's some of them out there. And perhaps we think they're a bit old. Perhaps we think they're vintage. And there's a lot of green fragrances that are really good from the past and fragrances like this. So definitely check that one out. I am getting a little bit of a, almost like a glue vibe from this in the best way possible. I'll have to test it more on skin. Overall, it's a really interesting fragrance, um, that one for sure. So the next one we got to talk about, oh, is Hefe. Oh yes, I believe it means the boss. Let's go. Oh, guys and gals. This is going to be my, I believe this is my favorite. And uh, this is a beautiful greenness, a beautiful kind of playful fruitiness. Uh, with, and it has cactus, I believe. It's very playful. It's very modern. This is kind of everything I wanted CH212 man to be with the grass, with a kind of a little bit of an aquatic nature. It's very playful. Again, it's a little bit fruity. It has a little bit of a musky nature. Overall, a very nice, versatile, uh, you know, like modern green fragrance. I I think that that one is a little bit more for men. But of course, anybody, I'm sure any gender could pull that one off for sure. Next one we have is Mara. So this, I think this is the one that's a little bit more for ladies or for women. Let's talk about, let's talk about this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're getting a little bit of floral. Um, it might be gardenia. It's a very light floral, but it still has a little bit of pop to it. I like that because some florals, they do tend to perhaps be more natural and sometimes not even the natural ones. They seem to be a little bit medicinal and strong and they die out really quickly. 
you can tell that the florals kind of subdue, um, but but kind of, kind of mixes and hangs on for a while. Um, and this fragrance kind of becomes a little bit musky. There's not a lot of sweetness perhaps to this fragrance. And um, it's not uber feminine, but I do feel like this one's a little bit more on the feminine side. A nice fragrance, I think it's I'm trying to detect any vanilla. I was almost expecting for there to be vanilla in this kind of fragrance, but I don't think I detect any. But there is a, a tiny bit of sweetness with that floral. That's, that's really nice for a lady, for a versatile, inoffensive fragrance, anytime, anywhere kind of fragrance for a lady. I think that this is a really nice one. If you don't want to be too much, if you don't want to be extra, I guess how they say that these days. That's what the cool kids say. Okay, that that one's really nice. I really do appreciate that one. This is Grant, the next one coming up. This is the one I was looking forward to the most. Um, I heard that it was a pear fragrance and a woody fragrance. Double spray that one. Oh, this is different from what I expected. I was expecting pears and woods and the pears there. Again, it has that kind of that cactus vibe that a lot of these fragrances have. This one has, it's, I think it's ginger, but um, almost has a chamomile type of feel. If you've smelled Bond Number no. Nine's Fire Island, or some of those chamomile type of fragrances, kind of like Oroville from Zerzhov kind of has that feel too. Very interesting fragrance. A very uh, kind of spicy, mellow, mature ginger with that playful kind of green nature uh, with that freshness. Again, I s might sound like I'm repeating some of the things I'm saying. This fragrance is one of those fragrances, especially with this essential line. Maybe this is the first kind of, you know, this type of DNA that they're going for with this uh, house or this collection. And they all do have a similar vibe with how these fragrances are formulated but this one again nice nice fresh musk kind of nature spicy ginger and it does have a little bit of something extra i think i remember seeing in the notes that it had a little bit of patchouli it's nice and uh definitely a good modern fragrances for for a man i think that that one perhaps is a little bit more for a man Let's test this one. This is McCool. This is a very nice fruit, a very fruity, kind of a light fruity fragrance. Kind of playful. But it's kind of understated. It's kind of a... A fruity fragrance that's not too much. It's not fruit too fruity. It's not trying to grab attention too much. But in, it's kind of mellow. A, a mellow fruitiness. It kind of reminds me of that uh, that fruit from Private Accord. That special fruit that Hugo, Hugo Boss has. Is it Moringa? I think that's how it's going to say. A very nice, uh, playful, almost like a a mature uh like a like a almost like a cherry vibe but not the immature kind of uh bright cherry like a dark sensual cherry but it, and it, and almost that with mixed with that dry cocoa vibe very interesting fragrance, but it's still light. It's still fresh, but it almost has that nuance of dusty chocolate and kind of like dark cherry. I'm not sure if that's what's going on in this fragrance, but that's what my note, my nose is picking up. And uh, I think that's a really good versatile fragrance. Again, all these are super versatile. You could wear them anytime, anywhere, every day. And uh, I think that one perhaps ladies would like it better, but uh, that one is nice as well. The last one here is none other than JP. Let's talk about this fragrance. Okay, this one's definitely different from all the others. This one doesn't have that kind of that cactus freshness and that soft, playful nature. Almost that like a musky, almost like an ambergris type of nature. 
This one doesn't have that going on very much. This one has more of like an asphalt feel, like the road, like out right when the rain hits the hot pavement, that kind of thing. I think this can be definitely nostalgic for people. I think I remember when I watched Sebastian's review at Guy of Guy Fox over there at Smelling uh, Great or Smelling Good Fragrance Reviews. I think this one was the one that was more for the mature guy. I can definitely see that. It's not a fougere particularly, but yeah, there's a little bit of oak moss. It has a little bit of that granite or kind of that road type of feel. Stone, perhaps. And it's very nice. It has a, a tiny bit of an aquatic feel, but not too much. This this definitely is one of the, perhaps the fragrance that's the most on the mature side. A good rainy day fragrance. And I, it is reminding me very, very slightly in an odd way of Gucci Pour Homme 2. Maybe there's some Earl Grey in this fragrance. Maybe there's a little tiny bit of tea. I do like I do like that. I do enjoy this fragrance. So if you're asking my opinion on which ones I like the best out of this collection for me personally, it's got to be JP and uh, Hefe. And for a lady, it's it's got to be that Mara. That's that's that actually is a very good versatile feminine fragrance for a modern young lady. If you're looking for a gift for a niece, that one would be great. And if you want your dad to smell a little bit more modern <laughs> and he, and uh, have something, maybe he can go out and about. And uh, this might be a really good gift that J that uh, the last one we just talked about, the JP. Overall, thank you all so much for being here today. This has been my impressions of all six of Guy Fox's offerings from their brand. Expect reviews coming of each one of these. I love to review fragrances from houses. I love to collaborate and work with houses. And I feel ex extremely um, grateful that they were willing to do this. Um, this is the first time that I've had a collaboration. And I, I feel very, I guess you could say even privileged. It's, this is perhaps, you know, putting me on the road, on perhaps on the roadmap of greater things to come with brands and representing them and giving my views of them and sharing them with the world. And I'm very happy to be able to do this and I'm very happy to, um, to be able to share these fragrances with you. And I'll def again be giving these away at the thousand dollar gift, I mean the thousand subscriber giveaway. <laughs> um, and I hope you all like how these fragrances sound. Let me know which fragrance stood out to you. Um, definitely. Let me know if you check them out, if you went to their website, what you think about this brand, if you think that uh, they, they're doing a good job or, or even not. Let me know of your opinion. Because all of these fragrances, from what I can tell, even though they're not going to be shouters, I think that they're going to perform very well. And I've, I'm definitely beginning to test these. So look forward to these reviews. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you for, you know, joining me and on this fragrance journey with this fragrance passion and spending time with me today here. So these are fantastic fragrances. Thank you all so much for, again, supporting me. And like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to never miss out on an episode and get closer to our goal. So I'm so excited for the future. Guy Fox, shout out to you. I really appreciate this again from the bottom of my heart. This means the world to me. And thank you all again for being here today. This has been the Scentitar Fragrance Channel. Again, helping you to smell great. And um, of course, wear what you love. And I hope this has brought more options to you. New options, new fragrances, new opportunities. So that's what I'm all about here. So let's jump. I'll see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. Let's get out there and have some fun. And I'll see you next time. And bye.